Buried deep in the mountains of Tennessee lies a historic prison named the Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary. I had the opportunity to do some really creative shoots there, and I'm thrilled to be able to share them with you now. We have our own personal heating station. That sounds like the space shuttle. Specifically for the ladies. Using creative lighting, out of the box wardrobe, and a very active imagination, we turned a cold and creepy place into something entirely different. In part one, we're going to turn a prison gym into a roller skating rink and a visitation booth into a space for a person needing a straitjacket. And we spent no money on these sets. This is all about lighting and creativity. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> nice! When I first walked into the gym, I thought, there's absolutely nothing here. Nothing that makes it look like a prison gym. So what can I do? I saw that beautiful light that was coming in, and paired it up with the incredible outfit that Casey was wearing, and we made roller derby magic. Beautiful work, Casey. <sighs> what were the keys to success on this shoot? shooting from the ground with a wide angle lens. So I got the rim light on her back and head as well as the spotlight effect on the ground. And I'm not gonna lie, Casey being a yoga instructor really came in handy. I was in complete awe of her standing on her tippy toes for so long and the strength it took to do that, the balance it took to do that, super proud of her and I could not have done this shoot without her. You're doing awesome. For the lighting, I used the Rotolite Titan X1. I used it at a high power output of 75% with double diffusion to really make the light soft and beautiful. I am looking strong. <laughs> I count my blessings every day that you're strong. Editing wise, I went for a really strong 70s funkadelic vibe kind of look and I hope you guys like it. I thought it matched her outfit, matched the theme, and uh, I just can't rave enough about Casey. She's awesome. For the second shoot, we really changed up the vibe and went for a straight jacket look. We put some nurse's scrubs on Casey and then tied up a bunch of her belts around her, put on a pilot's hat with some goggles, and she certainly looked crazy enough to need that straight jacket. These are so pretty. The lighting motivation was to find a place, such as a window or a visitation booth, where you could shine the light and really direct it. And that's something I love to do. So if you're out there trying to learn lighting, find a light source like we did here with the Titan X1 and shine it through something so it can direct your light for you. And even that pane of glass that's between the light and Casey serves as an extra layer of diffusion. It's a great way to light. From a posing and direction standpoint, I really worked with Casey on getting to a place where she could feel anger, where she could feel angst, where she could feel a lot of the emotions that you would correlate with someone who is in a straitjacket. She did an incredible job. And so when you're looking for a muse to be able to help you create these images, find someone who can access those types of emotions. And if your model is super flexible, use it to your benefit and create shots that make them look crazy in a straitjacket. We then finished the set by having a break free. What an incredible shoot. For gear, I used the Sony A9 with two of my favorite wide angle portrait lenses, the 20 millimeter Sigma art lens and the 35 millimeter Sony Zeiss. Both of them are 1.4 wide aperture, wide angle lenses. For lighting, I used my favorite light, the Titan X1 by Rotolite. I love it because I really don't need a modifier. 
That smart diffusion on the light makes a huge difference for me. And as you can see with the shots, it's freaking awesome. Make sure to give Miss Casey a follow. She is an absolute rock star, incredible muse. Can't sing her praises enough. Have you ever wanted to buy prints from the images that you see on my videos? Well, I've set up a new section where you can purchase prints from all of my shoots. Go to jasonlanierphotography.com slash models to see the galleries. I've also included direct links to the galleries from this particular shoot at Brushy Mountain in the description of the video below. I hope you guys find something you like. And a big thanks to Danny and Joe. I couldn't have done it without them. These guys are incredible and I love them. I got clamps as well. You got clamps? Clamps. <laughs> so we're gonna shine the light through here. It's gonna be a really cool shot. Make sure to stick around for part two where we work with another beautiful model named Ariel on some really beautiful shots inside the prison. You need to get your britches out of there. The, those britches. <laughs> <laughs> Take the power all the way, turn the power all the way off. Wow, that's amazing. And you might see some more Casey, so stick around. Until next time, keep shooting, never give up on your dreams. Find work that works for you, and remember, you only have one chance to get it right, guys. Make sure to give me a follow, and uh, I'll see you guys at a workshop sometime soon. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Uh,